Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. May I know from the Honorable Minister in charge of uh, Community and Rural Development, in his reply that uh, there was mentioned that uh, during the last one year, nine meetings, these meetings has been held. Uh, may I know from the Honorable Minister, the district wise, since this Disha is, uh, is district development uh, coordination and managing committee. So I want to know uh, from the Honorable Minister, uh, district wise, uh, how many uh, Disha meetings has been held, uh, whether in the district of East has since such meeting has been held or not in the last one year. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. In the last one year, there was uh, no meeting held for Disha as per East Kashi Hills District Squad, sir. <coughs> so, uh, Ms. Minister, uh, uh, why, why this such implementing such uh, held in the district of East uh, Kashi Hills in the last one year? What, what is the reason, sir? Sir, the committee is headed by the MP of the concerned district, and it is his priority to convene the meeting, sir. I will pass on to. No, we will. <laughs> so, uh, can the minister uh, provide an update on the progress of pro recent projects like VDVK? Uh, has the common received the fund? And which is implementing, implementing agency under this VDVK, sir? Sir, details are not uh, with me. I require notice, sir. So, uh, no, no. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, you see, we have this uh, Disha committee meeting. So, when about this Disha meeting is being held? So, in case there is any discrepancy or lapses is found in the implementation of particular project, can be action be taken by Disha? So. Sir, basically the requirement of Disha is to monitor and review the implementation of all government of India flagship programs and uh, also to look into the complaints, grievances, and all these things. Definitely, Disha is having that uh, privilege to uh, address the grievances, sir. Last one. Okay. Thank you, uh, Minister, for your reply. And uh, one question is that, uh, if possible, I request the uh, Minister that I should uh, request the Honorable MP to or to conduct such a <coughs> meeting is very important. Uh, sir, definitely I will do that. But election is just around the corner. Any day, the model code of conduct may be declared also. But still, I will uh, inform the Honorable MP to convene the Disha committee as early as possible, sir. Sir, this is a very important committee within the district <coughs> to oversee the implementation of central scheme within the district. The Goha district being an aspirational district, I would like to know from the Honorable Minister whether this Disha meeting has been conducted or not in Rivoi district specifically. Sir, last in one year there was uh, no Disha meeting convened for the district of Rivoi. Sir, so this is very unfortunate in the last one year because we have seen many programs from the central government and we take this opportunity through you sir to convene to the honorable minister that uh, if time permit as uh, stated by the honorable minister it has to be conducted very soon and in days to come in future also it is a prerogative of the member of parliament of that particular seat to conduct a regular meeting of this year so that to ensure that the central scheme will be properly implemented in different districts, especially Rivhoi being an aspirational district. Thank you, sir. Suggestion. Uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, uh, there's a bit of uh, confusion uh, in this entire question. Uh, the reason I'd like to clarify, sir, is because uh, uh, I had the opportunity to also represent uh, Tura's seat for Disha, uh, for uh, Lok Sabha, and uh, I used to conduct Disha meetings every quarter, which is what the norm is. So just for the knowledge of all the members, this actually is not conducted or is not a program of the state government. It is a program of government of India. 
and government of india monitors it through the members of member of parliament so a particular member of parliament of that constituency or that particular district is the chairman of this committee and it is his or her responsibility and prerogative to call the disha meeting so it is not a state program and hence uh, as members are saying why isn't state calling it so it's not the state's uh, responsibility and it is not a state program it is directly between the department concerned and the uh, mp of that particular constituency but of course members are there all mlas and other members are always there uh, who attend the meeting but as i said it's a completely independent program of government of india and the, and the mp thank you